Hello everyone. Welcome to Cat's Cottage. I've got a little project that I'm going to do in my bedroom and I've been putting it off for some time. It's just I don't have much closet space and the closet space that I do have um, uh, actually my husband's using it, most of it. So uh, when I moved in here and it's been 30 years ago he had the closets and it just stayed that way. But anyhow, I'm going to make me a storage space behind the door of the bedroom to uh, help me with my just pajamas and gowns. That's all I want it for. And maybe some uh, house shoes. Uh, and now they call them indoor shoes, but house shoes. And uh, so that's what I'm doing. I'm making a storage place for bed clothes behind my door because, uh, you know, I think it's really cool because I've got a place back there. I tried it out already. I uh, hammered some hooks and some nails and put my gowns on it and my house shoes and, and then my dirty clothes basket. And it all was convenient. And it seems like uh, I'm wanting convenient. Everything I do now is like I want it convenient and easy. So uh, that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to start at it, and my video might cut off. Uh, I might shorten it so I can do part one and two, because my phone will just suddenly shut off on its own. It's, it won't roll a long time. So, But anyway, I'm going to show you what I'm up to and how I'm going to do this. And, you know, some of you may say, hey, give me some suggestions that you would have done, you know. So anyway, uh, here we go. I'm going to turn it around so you can see that way. And it won't be backwards because I'll be on the other side. Okay, here we go. Okay. I'm on this other side here, right where I'm working, right behind the door. I'm going to move it back. I hope you can see the whole screen. I mean, I hope I'm going to be in the screen. Uh, first off, what I'm going to do is mark the top level. I've got a level and a pencil, and I'm going to climb the ladder, and I'm going to level that off where I want. Uh, I'm going to put some contact paper on there to define the little storage space and make it uh, I'm hoping in my mind that I'm going to make it look better okay now here we go now I'm going to keep it behind the door behind the door so I don't want it all to be seen so I'm going to mark it level just below the door frame so you won't when the door is back you won't see all that now I'm going to level it off. Here we go. Now marking each, uh, I've got a small level. So I don't have a long level where I could just run it across and get it over with. I've got a small one, so uh, y'all just gonna have to watch me go a little bit at a time across. Okay. Okay, now I got me a line all the way across, all the way around, and that's going to be um, where I'm going to stop that contact paper. And, uh, okay, let me get over here. Now, I've already removed nails and hooks that I had, and I fill the holes up. Uh, fill the holes up. 
with uh, this stuff right here. This is that. This is that uh, spackling, lightweight spatuling, patching prime or whatever. But it's easy to work with, and I just used my finger to do it. I always fill my nail holes because I've put many holes in these walls, and I, I like filling the nails hole up before I paint or put anything up there. Okay. Now, I've got, and I had all of these, these hooks all up there. That's where I made all the holes from. And I had nails. I had nails up there. I took all that down. And so, this is my contact paper. I, it's it's not something I picked and loved. I got it for $1.99, $2 at the Salvation Army. I mean, it was just what was available. Okay. Now, I'm going to turn myself off. Uh, I hope that y'all can see, and I'm not blocking the view with my back side there. Okay. I don't know if I need to move the camera. Guess not. Okay. And here we go. I'm going to start in this corner like this. And um, that's how I'm going to do that. I'm starting the corner. Let's see. No, I think I'm going to start on this edge. Yeah, I'm going to start on this edge. And um, I'm going to just let that drop. On this edge. And I'm going to keep it level by that pencil mark that I made. And, uh, and this is going to be to emphasize my little storage area. Okay. okay. And I'm going to pull the backing off. I don't know if y'all have worked with contact paper anymore or not, but uh, it's really thin these days. It's real thin. It ain't like the old contact paper. Got a bit of a glare. Okay. Now there it is there, stuck on there. I'm going to take my glasses off because I, I work better without my glasses. I can see better. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to smooth it out. All right, I'm smoothing it as I go. Make sure there's no air bubbles. It's nice and smooth. Actually, this is a pretty good uh, print to go with this gray wall, but uh, I'm not excited over this gray wall anymore. I'd like to lighten it up a little bit in here. Okay, went on down. All right. I don't know. Maybe I need to move the camera. Move y'all up over this way. Here we go. Let me make sure y'all are on the wall. Yeah, there you are. I'm going to bring you down just a little. Okay. Now, I'm using this to guide by, but uh, this, you need this level too. So, And this is just behind the door. This is not, uh, if I was doing this on a wall out there, I would make sure that this is absolutely level. And also, I, I didn't say, but before, I got a cloth and I cleaned the wall uh, from any dust because I learned my lesson on that other wallpaper in the hall. It, uh, for some reason, suddenly it started coming off and I thought, what the heck? Come to find out, I remembered that I did not 
uh, dust the wall off and get the dust off. So, I just kind of messed myself up there. Okay. Okay, up there. Whoops. Wait a minute. We don't want none of that. We don't want none of that. Let's see what that little bump is right there. Hate those little bumps up underneath. Okay. Now, I want y'all to, I just invent this for a video. I have been wanting to do this, and I have been collecting things from the Salvation Army there to do this with. I've, I'll show you my hooks and all that in a little bit uh, that I've been collecting to put on this wall. Now I've come down to my to my um, floor trim, and I'm not going to go over that. I'm going to mark this, cut it off, and um, move that away. Okay. Take my scissors. I'm just going to. Mark a line right where you are. Press hard and keep it hard against that trim board. Okay. This little end off here. Press it down. And then trim this little side. Now, and I'll work and make sure there's no air in it. Don't want it coming back off. Okay. 
And actually, I really don't even have to match this up here if I don't want to. Don't really have to. Okay, well that is this side. And then I'll come out here and I'll do this side here. I'm going to work in from one side to the other. And uh and then then I'll put one down the middle. And like I said, it really don't have to match at all. Uh Unless I just feel like I want to match it, but I don't think it has to match, and I won't have to use as much either. And I'll have some left, although I don't. I, I plan on putting some on the back of the door too. So, but anyhow, that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna show you my hooks and the things that I have that I want to put on this wall. Okay. Okay, now there's my wall, all the way down. Okay, now we're going to come over here, and I'm going to show you what I have here. Now, I've collected these little things, these right here. I'm going to put these up across the area there, and then I collected this. I mean, it wasn't like this is what I want, this and this. I just got what was available and what was on sale, and then I have a clock. And then I have this basket with pajama bottoms. And then I have my dirty clothes basket. And this is uh, a rack that's got my house shoes on it. Okay, and I want that in there too. And then, of course, over here is my gowns that I'm going to hang and two house coats that I'm going to hang in, that, in this area right over here. Okay, that area and back of the door. So, okay, well, before the phone shuts off, uh, this is going to be part one, and I'm going to come back and show you my part two, hopefully not part three. If I was better at this camera, I would do it all in one thing, maybe run it real fast, and you wouldn't have to watch me work. But um, I'm going to save y'all from watching me rub down the wall with my hand, cut, rub down the wall. But that's the general idea of what I'm doing with the contact paper. Okay. See you on the second part. Bye-bye.